Now to tie the small hole off pattern I'm using, this is a fully mill hook, it's the all purpose medium, it's a, this one's a size 12. Now I'm going to be using, unusually, I'm going to use a dark brown thread. Now, um, it's a light coloured body but it's in the, when it's wet you get that contrast between the brown and the natural colour, or the sort of light coloured dubbing in this case, it's just a natural uh, seals fur in that case. Now, what we do is just simply start at the eye, and they come round down the body, and they stop just before it starts to get around the bend. Now for the hackle, or the tail and the hackle, I'm going to be using this pale yellow. This is just a cock hackle fibres for the tail, and I'm going to use that as well for the body. So uh, Sorry, for the hackle. Tail length, you're looking around the hook length, just turn that on top, a couple of turns just to hold, trim out the length of the body, which is there, but what I'm going to do is, uh, because I'm putting dub in the head of this fly, I'm going to leave, make sure I've got enough space, That's because this is basically, it is a, a wet fly, but it's a kind of mix between the nymph and, and the wet. Rib, I'm using just a small tinsel, oval gold. You could use a flat tinsel, which I do like sometimes, to be honest with you. Uh, but this is an oval gold. So what I'm going to do is tidy up. Just run your thread up. A little wax there. Quickly come back down. Now just before I get to the back, I've got my dubbing. Now it's just a natural, in this case, seals fur. Tiny bit of yellow in it, just a tiny bit that I put in, much the same colour as uh, the hackle colour. The natural itself is fine. Now this fly can be tied as a palmer as much as it can tie uh, just as a hackle at the top. But uh, you can mess about with it, it's a good, it's a good palmer flight fly. So what I'm going to do is just build up the body. You'll see the brown thread coming through, don't worry about that, that's just part of the colour. It's fine. Now as I say, you could put a hackle down the body, but I'm not going to do this on this one. I'm just going to come up with a rib, around about, you're only going to get about four turns or so. It's fine. Just stroke back any fibre going forward. Secure it in. Trim away. Wax the finger now. Wax the thread, sorry. Now just rub the end of the tinsel with your nail, it flattens it. it. Basically takes a step away. You a wee step there if you leave that straight cut. So if you rub the end of it, it flattens it out. Now hackle, I've got one of the small wee hackle sitting here. Now that is a cock hackle. It's just off a cheap Indian neck. It's actually quite a soft uh, feather. Trim this away. And then, so see, you could have palmed this hackle, you could have palmed the fly, sorry. But you'll be slightly overdress it, but if you want to fish it in the lochs, well, this is a kind of loch pattern, though uh, no, it's a good river fly. That tip broke. It's like, as I say, it's both, it can be fished both in the rivers and the lochs. So if you want to palmer it up, especially for the lochs, it works. Looking for a couple of turns. Now it's obviously sitting like a cock hackle just now. Trim away the waste. Just tidy this up. Just what I'm doing here is just flattening the hackle. Just, you can pull it down the sides, just encourage it. So your wing to sit. Now the wing I'm using, this is just the primary feathers from a duck. Just the grey, it's just a light colour. Now you can change the colour of the wing uh, to suit. Uh, sometimes uh, the manolas are coming off, depending on what part of the, the season really, you'll get them quite light. Use my needle. I need a right and a left, so 
Don't want it too wide. It's fine. Just tear it off. Starling's good in this, the kind of smaller versions. It's fine. Now you can have the inside, or the front is sorry, facing out, or you can have the inside of the feather facing the outside. It's up to yourself, or where you want it actually. If you want more movement, and you can tie it so it curves away from the, the hook. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it will move. Um, sometimes I prefer it, it's a much softer. I'm just going to do it that way. So what I'm doing is bringing them both together. They will pull together. So I'm looking at my lens, make sure it's right. I want it to slightly by the back of the hook. Just tie it on top. It's quite just a nice pinch. Pinch and loop through your fingers a couple of times. See what it's like. It's fine. Don't be fussy with it. That's fine. You can make it better, but that's nothing wrong with that. Now, I usually like to take the thread to the front, take the thread cut into the cut ends. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some grey dubbing on. I've got this is a blend. Uh, it's just it's a blend of rabbit, uh, a bit of UV, just together. So I'm just going to lightly dub this on. It gives it the, the nymph effect and it adds a bit of colour as well. It's a kind of modern twist, or like a, what they call a, a flint, a F L Y M P H. Um, it's just a, it's a good style, it's a kind of nymph type weight. Form a nice head with it. Let's bring the thread to the front. Don't be shy with it. Just leave it the way it is just now. Put a varnish on the thread. And then what finish? And then that. Now what I like to do is just Hold the wing out in the hackle out of the way and then just lightly. I usually like to bring the dubbing towards the eye. Just brush it towards the eye with the velcro and then roll it back. And there we are. Now that's I know it's rough. But these are the type of flies that I I, I like. I like them rough. Beat up. Ready for like an easy prey for a fish, if you, if you want to call it that way. I mean, this is the type of fly that it probably catches me more fish than anything. And it is a combination. By putting a bit of dubbing on the head, just changes the look of the fly. Now, you can leave this out, but when the olives are in the water, uh, both in the river or in the lochs, this is a good pattern. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thanks for watching.